What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Nickelodeon and I'm doing a recap of Real Housewives of Atlanta season 9 episode 17. So the episode started off with um, Peter celebrating his birthday and Candy and Todd had an a idea of trying to have a roast for Peter. They were trying to use that as a joke, you know, since they were in Hawaii and one of the main events is a luau in Hawaii and they do a roasted pig and all they said well we're not going to roast the pig we're going to roast Peter so everybody got a chance to roast Peter um Candy and Todd you know they did they did an okay job you know I didn't think that any of the roasts were like falling on the floor funny um Cynthia got up there and she pretty much um just fell short uh, she fell short and everybody was looking at her like what is she saying like she was not at all insulting him or or, or roasting him or how, however you're supposed to do it I've never been to a roast and uh, never want to be roasted but you know Cynthia fell short of that um Cynthia and Peter was getting along so well you know I think that they still have feelings for each other. Cynthia keeps referring to it as, you know, like the last time that they're going to be together as husband and wife. And I'm thinking to myself, like, um, aren't you guys divorced? What do you mean the last time as husband and wife? But I guess you mean, like, uh, with them being together, the last time of them being together, period. Or... And, and Peter keeps saying, like, this is the last time he's going to be with these people, you know, together on a trip and everything like that. So I think that they might be just trying to um, make the best out of um, them two being together. Um, but Cynthia is, she's, she's still very much in love with Peter, you know. And I, I think she could do a better job of being stronger and being serious about this divorce and moving on because it, it, it seems like as soon as she gets around Peter she turns into putty so that's what was going on in the beginning you see a lot you see Peter laying on Cynthia's shoulder and uh Cynthia actually ordered Peter um room service I think it was breakfast room service breakfast at, at his hotel um Peter said something that I thought it was a little romantic he he, he said uh well you know, I find it kind of hard that, you know, we're in the same hotel together and we can't even be in bed together or we can't even be together like that, you know. And it looked like Cynthia was giving it some thought, like, hmm, you know, like if he wanted some, I'll give him some or something like that. You know, she's thinking about that. So they still got that connection, at least in that department. So, you know, it was a lot of... Um, I guess uh, old feelings coming up. Um, later on, we move on to um, Phaedra and Kenya and their friendship. And they're getting along great. They're getting along great. You know, they were the Thelma and Louise last uh, episode, I believe it was, a couple, couple episodes back. And they are definitely getting tighter throughout this chair, uh, throughout this uh, vacation, this Hawaii vacation. Um, they showed a clip of Phaedra and Kenya playing tennis together, and you know, Phaedra was. They were throwing that little shade in the little um, in the little private conference that they did on the side, but you know, in person they they kept it cordial. You know, it, I don't think there's anything that was really big. Um, so it's not, not it's not, it, it was, it was just shade, it was shade on Kenya's side, it was shade on Phaedra's side. Um, then I think Kenya went on with good intentions. Now, I don't really like Kenya that much, she's not one of my favorite housewives, but. She decided to um, throw a divorce party because there are several housewives that's getting divorced. I believe Cynthia, I'm, I, I think they are divorced or in the process. I don't know. 
and Phaedra's is final. And I think that's the only ones that are divorced. I'm not sure what's going on with um, Sheree and Bob. Sheree and Bob, I believe, are still married. And um, so the party, I believe, was only for Cynthia and for Phaedra. And um, Kenya went into the party with good intentions. You know, she wanted to uh, help her friend to get over her divorce. Um, the, the party was set up nicely. Um, I loved the cake. She had a custom made cake and half the cake was um, white and the other cake half was black and it was decorated very nicely. Um, and it was like a ball and chain, um, connecting the cake was already like separated, prepared, separated. And then it was a ball and chain connecting the cake. So, um, I thought I loved the cake. I thought it was very creative and it was a, a red velvet cake. So, you know, it looked cool. That was that was definitely the highlight of the party was the cake. Um they played a game um uh, where they had uh this cartoon man whose penis was out and they had to like wear different color lipstick and they had to like try to see who can kiss closest to the penis. Um so that I thought that was an interesting game. I've never never heard of that or anything. It, it was funny, and you know they was throwing that little shade on the side of each other about you know who 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 can find a penis and stuff like that. So, but that's go, that's going into it. But right before the party has started, um, Cynthia arrives and um, Kenya's like, "Hey, Cynthia," you know, and you know. And as soon as Cynthia walks in, she sees this sign that says divorce party, you know, and it's all decorated. And Cynthia just starts instantly tearing up. And she's like, oh, but I don't want a divorce party, you know. And, and I wasn't even surprised at her reaction because of how close her and Peter has gotten, you know, on the vacation. And um, just, just how she handled her divorce. I think she took it hard. Peter took it hard, you know, and it was painful. Like a, a, a divorce is painful, period. And me personally, I wouldn't want anybody to throw a divorce party for me. For the record, if you see the video, do not throw me a divorce party because I don't think it's a good idea. Nobody wants to celebrate uh, pain, something, uh, a unity that once was is now no more, you know, it's a lot of feelings that go into a divorce. It's painful. It's, it's a horrible situation for anybody. And I, I just don't people, some people are strong enough to, to, to do those things, but I'm probably not one of them. It probably would, would be very painful. I'll probably be more on, on the, the side of Cynthia, you know, being upset and everything. But Cynthia put on a good face and she stayed for the party. Um, next, Phaedra shows up. Phaedra comes in and she immediately looked at the decor of the party and she got sick to her stomach. You could see. Sorry, something is tickling my eye. You could see that she wasn't feeling the party at all. And she's just looking like, like I gotta get out of here. She's like, she looked like the wheels are turning and she trying to think of an escape route. Like, get out, get out, get out, like immediately. And I just, um, as soon as I seen Phaedra's face, I was just like, oh, you know, like she's not feeling this. And I couldn't understand why any of the girls couldn't understand that she wasn't feeling it either. They just, they just looked so confused. They didn't understand. And I immediately understood. I don't know why, but I, I immediately understood. And I think because I'm married and because I know that that's not, not, not what we want to celebrate. Um, she made up an excuse that her stomach was hurting. And she said, I'm going to go ahead and try to get some ginger ale. I'll catch up with you late, ladies later. Kenya immediately throws some some shade at her. She's, oh, you just going to find some ginger ale out of nowhere? Phaedra said, yep, and left and slammed the door. And I would be right behind her because that, that's something I would probably do too. <laughs> no shade. But if you got to make an escape route in a classy way without... You know, 
coming off mean, that's the way to do it. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What happened after that? Oh, Phaedra went to her room. And I think on the way to her room, or one, once she got to the room, she texted Portia. Um, so, you know, her and Portia are tight. And her and Kenya are tight. But her and Portia are more on a level of where she shares her personal info. She wouldn't share her personal info with Kenya. Just for her own judgment. But she um had texted Portia and she said that why she said something's wrong with those group of women that want to celebrate some something so sad, you know, and um she said something about the host being trifling, you know, and said something mentioned Kenya being the very reason why she is is getting divorced. Because if you remember, I think it was like last season. Um, Kenya was doing a lot of flirting with Apollo. If you look back at the clips and you see things that she said, Kenya said, uh, one clip, they actually did play back some clips from last season to, uh, confirm what Phaedra was saying about allegations of Kenya, um, flirting with her husband. And Kenya did say one time, um, that it looked like they were sitting at a table. It was Kenya and then Kenya was next to Apollo and then Apollo was next to Phaedra. And then Kenya looked over and she said, to Apollo, Apollo, you don't role play with your wife? And Apollo just was like, oh, yeah, you know, like blushing that she would even mention it. And then I think he was like, no. And then she's, then Kenya turns to Apollo and says, oh, well, Phaedra, I have to uh, put you on to some game or something like that. And that to me, I thought it was flirting. I, I, I don't know. And then it was another clip where um Apollo was like playing with Kenya in the pool and had had Kenya like over his shoulder and stuff like that. So they were very playful um and stuff like that. So yeah, she's she's saying that she was Kenya was disrespectful. Phaedra saying Kenya was disrespectful of her marriage. So um Portia read the text. That Phaedra texted her to everybody that was there. Sheree, Candy, and um, Cynthia, Kenya. And she she pretty much just, you know, and I, I didn't like that on Portia's part. I thought that that wasn't being a good friend. You know, if a friend shares something, that should be between you and that friend. I don't know what that is. Keep flashing across the screen, but um, I don't know what it is with these housewives girls. They really, to me, don't seem to like like to be real friends because nothing like stays within. You know, you try to share something with a friend, somebody who you think is a friend, and it don't stay. It don't stay between y'all two. That to me is like like you can't trust nobody. Um, and they was all like, oh, what, what, you know, when they got the news about the text, Kenya was extremely pissed because she was the one that got, got it the most. She got called trifling and, um, you know, being, being, a, a the reason why she's getting a divorce in the first place. So that was a lot to swallow. So Kenya probably was like, and, and, and if we've known Kenya from the last couple of seasons. We know Kenya does not, when she feels like something needs to be confronted or something needs to be brought up, it gets brought up. And at that particular time, she was in her feelings and she felt like she needed to go see Phaedra, right? As soon as she got the news and that's what happened. She went to go see Phaedra. Um, Portia was there with Phaedra first before Kenya got there. And um I think Portia that was Portia had to let Phaedra know that she um told everybody about the text. So Phaedra didn't seem to mind, but I would have maybe Phaedra wanted her to read that. Um so they talked a little bit. Kenya is knocking on the door, wanting to confront Phaedra. So Portia opens the door. 
Kenya comes in and she sits down on the bed and she says, Phaedra, um, are you feeling better? I, I just came to talk, you know, when Phaedra knew that she knew, you know, they knew it was about to go down, both of them. She asked, she was like, um, Kenya said, Portia, can I talk to Phaedra by, by, her, you know, in peace? And then Portia leaves and, um, Kenya and Phaedra sit down to talk. Um, Kenya jumps right into it. She say, look, let's stop the BS. I know about the text. I know how you call me trifling. I know how you, you know, you didn't like the party. And you said that we, we were all crazy for wanting to celebrate something like that. And then she's just got into, well, how can you accuse me of flirting with your husband? And then that's when they played back the clips of last season. Phaedra just kept on insisting, insisting, yes, you did. Yes, you were disrespectful to my husband, blah, blah, blah. So pretty much um, they are now not friends. So it went and, and, and then they showed a clip of Shady Sheree. It's talking about and 10, 9, 8. Yeah, I knew it wasn't going to last. Talking about Phaedra and Kenya's friendship. You know, like they are a mess. They don't like each other, but yet they get they yet they hate it when uh, you know some the two of them or or click up or something like that. They they quickly try to break that up. It's crazy. But speaking of Sheree, Sheree, it was like the first part of the episode, and then a little bit into the middle of the episode, her and Bob weren't getting along. You know, she did try to sit down and talk with Bob, and um, Bob just wasn't saying the right things. It seemed like everything that he said made Sheree even more pissed off. And she says, oh, you know, she brought up the thing from the last episode about him saying that he undid her seatbelt and slammed the br brakes and tried to get her to fly through the car window. He's, he, he, he says that... Well, at least I didn't put my hands on you, you know what I mean? But yet you tried to kill her. And then you said in front of her friends that you tried to kill her, you know? And that is abuse, the way Sheree put it. Sheree did say to him that you are abusing me. You're verbally abusing me. You went from physically, now it's verbal. And I agree with her. I agree with her. You don't sit there and, and, and diss somebody in front of their friends, you know. And, and then to bring up such awful uh, past, that's that's another form of abuse. I, I didn't agree with that. I didn't like it at all. Um, things continued to get heated with Bob and Sheree. At one point, Bob did get loud. And um everybody turned around and looked and seen them. Oh, here we go. You know, because they knew they were sitting down there. Cause they, but they were separate from the group. They were sitting. Um, They were actually on a boat. On a boat ride. I think um Sheree and Bob was at the lower level. um Having a drink or something at the table. And then the other ones were on on the top part of the boat but they did hear Bob getting loud um Sheree said you know what <laughs> I'm gonna try to put on a good face and enjoy the rest of this trip but I do know for a fact that me and Bob are over and she told Bob before they even came on the trip that this was a test about their relationship and Bob is sinking. He is failing, you know. So Sheree looks like already made her or made up her mind that it's over between her and Bob. And she says she's just going to put on a good face. And she's going to enjoy the rest of Hawaii. And I don't blame her. You're in Hawaii. You're with your friends. Have a good time, you know. Don't let this man ruin it, you know. Um, so that's what's going on with her, with her and Bob. He, he, he messing up. Bob is messing up. And honestly, I think she needs to just go ahead and walk away. Because he got some issues that I think, uh, Sheree cannot fix. <laughs> or, you know, somebody else, maybe somebody else can fix it. But I don't think it's for Sheree to fix them. Um, so that's pretty much what was going on with that. Um. That's about it. The divorce party was pretty much the highlight. Nobody truly was feeling the divorce party. I think that, that Cynthia just put on a good face. 
you know, because she knew that uh, Kenya went through the trouble of of making this party. And Phaedra was just like, I don't care. You know, this is how I feel, and I'm out. You know, um, so thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for next episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Peace.